Well, John Ramshaw, 1-1 uh, one, one here at Corby in the Newland Shield. A, a good workout. It was a good game of football, something we have not probably had so far in pre-season. Probably something that uh, the team wanted. Yeah, excellent. Excellent for, uh, from our perspective. Uh, a real hard workout, a, a hard-fought local derby. Big crowd, passionate crowd. Um, real football. Not, not pre-season football, real football today. Another injury to a goalkeeper. I bet you thought that may be deja vu with uh, Jacob, but I've had a word with Reese um, after that, but uh, didn't look good for a few minutes. No, it, it, it was worrying, after, obviously, after the incident on Tuesday night, but um, perhaps looking back, Jackson should have probably stayed at home and let, let Smithy nod the ball back to him, but he's, he's, he's come out a little bit impulsively and they've collided, but uh, thankfully it was just a bang to the jaw, nothing more serious, and uh, uh, he'll be all right, he'll be all right for next week. A lot of uh, trialists again in the second half especially, they seemed to handle the situation quite well. It was a, a good game against Colby, put up quite a fight, didn't they? Yeah, well, I, th I thought uh, the trialists came through. This is what you use pre-season for to have a look at players. You know, we've got a we've got the basis of our squad now, and we're still we're still looking for one or two. So, um, a few trialists came in today, and th they've, they've done quite well. Um, you know, I think if we're going to sign anybody, they've got to be better than what we've got uh, on board at the moment. But uh, yes, yeah, impressive and uh, and really fitted into the system quite well today. I thought. Disappointed at the goal we conceded, unmarked at the back post to a certain extent. Yeah, a little bit disappointed with the whole build-up, you know, um, we give the ball away on the edge of our final third and they very quickly whipped it wide and boys, boys cut in and drew defenders around them and as other defenders have come across to cover, it's left the boy unmarked at the back stick. Um, so a little bit sloppy from our point of view, but, you know, I have to emphasise, Paul, that's that's our sort of second game in 48 hours and... and, and Two competitive games in 48 hours. There was a few tired legs and a few tired minds out there, without a doubt. Um, but, you know, like I say, we're delighted with the workout and, and, and we're very positive about what we've got out of it. Well, just a few days rest until the game against uh, Colville Town on Tuesday night, which we'll be covering uh, for you. Yeah. And, um, and that's going to be a, a heck of a, a tussle as well, because they normally give Kettering a, a, a good game and, again, tied legs. Yeah, yeah. And, and you know, what we've done is we've, we, you know, we've, we've sort of built, we've built up pre-season. You know, the first two games were against Step 5 teams. The next two games have been against Step 4 teams. Colville are a Step 3 team before we go into Brackley, who are in the same, at the same step as us. So it's been, a, you know, it's been a structured pre-season. Season, which is good, but we're expecting a tough game at Colville. They've got good players um, and, and are well financed, so it'll be a, it'll be a good test. It'll be a good test. Interesting for uh, Kyle Perry, of course. He scored against uh, Kettering for Colville when Kettering um, played them, and he's now going to face them. Uh, it should be a good time for him. Yeah, well, it'd be nice to see Pez Notch. You know, I'm sure he'd, uh, there'll be a, a little bit of a reaction if he does. Um, but, but it'd be nice to see him Notch on Tuesday night. I'm, I'm sure he's looking forward to the game against uh, his old club. I know that uh, we asked you uh, in the week about who would be captain. Are you any nearer to making a decision who's going to be um, team captain? Um, well, I mean, you know, there's been a very, very uh, strong hint, shall we say, in the last three games. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> I can neither confirm or deny that. <laughs> Maybe Conor Kennedy there. <laughs> I'm, well, I'm not saying anything. I just said it's been a strong... We've dropped a strong hint from you. I'm, I'm sure you can pick up on that. And are the fans uh, going to be looking at some signings coming in this week on the, in the press, do you think? We're working all the time. We're working all the time to bring quality players into the club. And, uh, you know, we're, we're, I say we've had a hard summer. You know, the gaffer and I have had a hard summer. We've been working virtually full time for the football club um, to, to bring the right sort of quality in. But, you know, there's going to be a little bit movement, a little bit of movement over the next couple of weeks, without a doubt. You know, more and more players are becoming available. And, you know, players who have maybe been holding out, hoping for a, a better club at a higher level aren't getting that deal. So they're, um, you know, so they become more receptive to the offers we're making. So, yeah, I guess it's just a case of wait and see, but um, hopefully there will be people coming in the next couple of weeks. Thank you, John, and best luck uh, on Tuesday night against uh, Colville. Thanks very much, Paul.